Okay, this here is my uh, canoe trailer. I built to haul my canoe behind my bicycle. Um, as you can see, it's uh, built from a kid's bike trailer that kind of has a plastic tub. Um, this is the axle assembly. Uh, almost all these parts came off from that trailer except uh, one brace there you can see is a set of old training wheels that I uh, used to brace. And all of the small conduit come from that one trailer. Uh, there are some support pieces for the uh, canopy and, and uh, the handle that you use to push it when it's in the, trailer, the stroller mode. And the long pipe down the middle is a piece of one and a quarter inch conduit. Um, that's the hitch. Uh, the trailer has a very good hitch on them that you can uh, attach to any bicycle. You don't need two pieces, it's just one piece. And you can see um, I actually took the hitch assembly off of the trailer and had to, there was a metal piece I had to grind the welds off of so I could slide it inside of the conduit. And the pool noodles that are cut up and placed there are all covering bolts, heads, and things like that so they don't rub a hole in my boat. I'll load this onto the, I'll load the canoe onto the trailer and we'll get a look at it. Okay, um, now I've loaded it onto the trailer. Really it takes me a couple of minutes to get it on. Um, you can see um, I have plenty of clearance between the wheels and the canoe. I would have liked to have the wheels a little bit wider, but I think that this setup is going to be uh, just as beneficial to me. Uh, some of the trails I want to take the canoe on have uh, pretty tall weeds, and I would almost rather the canoe be a little bit higher, just so that it can uh, clear the clear the weeds without causing me too much drag. Um, everything isn't completely straight and the trailer was put together basically eyeballing it but as you can see it um, it uh, is not too bad it uh, tracks a little bit funny sometimes but I don't know if it's the weight or the length it sometimes takes a little longer to straighten out than I thought it would but I, like I said I'm pretty pleased with it I've really only taking it about a mile down the street so we'll see how it acts on the trail um, okay a couple more things um, when you're trying to park a bike that has a trailer like this attached to it a lot of times you'll need a some type of extension on the kickstand or a board like this I've got under there and then if you see how the hook in the hitch is park the bike at an angle like that it will help to uh, stabilize the bike it won't force it over um, I've, I have a small trailer that I've hauled concrete on and that's the only way you can get the bike to stay upright when you have the uh, trailer loaded and also with something this size it's always easier to load the trailer first and then attach it to the bike and you're not throwing your bike off onto the ground. Um, I was going to show one more thing here. This uh, this is the bike trailer that was uh, used to build the canoe trailer. You can see it was pretty broken up front. Um, I picked this trailer up for five bucks at the thrift store. Uh, and uh, If I'm building a big custom trailer, I think this is the trailer I would build it from. Uh, the smaller trailers, such as the instep, this small instep trailer here, uh, they make okay trailers if you're trying to haul some smaller things. But uh, basically, this trailer here was built from an instep trailer, and this is the trailer I have hauled concrete on the flatbed portion of that. Hauled all kinds of things on this trailer. It, uh, 
has a large box. Uh, I do grocery shopping with it a lot. And uh, it has served me pretty well. I managed to haul all kinds of neat things. We've strapped ladders to them, pick fruit and such like that.